YouTube or back to my channel. My name is Cameron and today we're doing a cute little back to school get ready with me. Yeah, I'm going back to school today. I forgot what I do in the morning. Like, do I get dressed first? Do I do my hair first? Do I get my makeup first? I don't remember. I literally woke up and my body came right off. Hair slept fine i just slept on it i didn't braid or anything i'm gonna go over it though like these pieces and then like the front and i'm gonna curl the ends in but i'm gonna do that like last i'm not worried about that right now i think right now i'm gonna get dressed we're gonna do dress we're gonna get dressed do makeup and then do hair how's that sound does that sound normal i don't remember <sighs> but yeah i'm not tired let me not act like I'm tired. I'm not gonna be like, I'm tired. No, I'm excited. <laughs> like I couldn't sleep last night. Every year on the first day of school, my dad always sends me like some type of long paragraph. And it really sets my tone for the year. Like I'm about to have a good year. It's 4.18 in the morning. For what? Let me explain my dilemma. I thrifted these pants and they're like huge on me. Like they don't fit me so i have this extra button but it's halfway across the pants so i'm scared it's gonna look like i'm scared it looks stupid when i button it as you oh butt crack this is how i'm gonna be sitting in class whoa oh, the arches <laughs> i'm scared my my butt crack is gonna say hello let me tell y'all why i decided to just comfortable and casual today so today is Monday, it's my first day of school, right? And I feel like every year for high school, on the first day of school, I always go like all out. And I'm wearing like crop tops or like jeans or like just something is always uncomfortable. Today, I like decided to go comfy and casual because A, it's the first day. So I'm gonna be stressed about like my classes, my parking spot, like I'm gonna be stressed about other things around me and everything is going to be overwhelming and overstimulating and b or let me explain answer a and so i don't want to add like an uncomfortable outfit to that mix because it's just going to stress me out and i'm going to be worried about my outfit when i need to be worried about class or something like that and then b i feel like everybody is on their own timing on the first day of school and like they're worried about themselves so nobody's gonna stop and look at your outfit you know what i mean like everybody's gonna be so nobody's really gonna stop and be like wait i don't know if it's cute like maybe your friends but like you know so that's why i said on the first day i'm gonna do casual comfy and then come tomorrow and all the days after i'm gonna look bomb i'm about to do my makeup it's 4 24 i'm gonna try to take as much time as i can with this because i've been perfecting this makeup routine all summer for this moment you need to use the elf poreless putty primer I don't have the liquid one, I only have the old one. And I'll probably finish this and then get the liquid one. I used to be like a, a hydro, not hydro grip. It's called power grip primer girl for life, but it separates my makeup. And I don't think it's the primer's fault. I think it's because my concealer and my primer don't mix well, but it was getting annoying. So I stopped using it. I'm not gonna do a lot of makeup. Like I'm gonna do a lot of makeup, but like I'm gonna, do it in like i'm gonna do little amounts because school air i haven't tested my new makeup routine with school air so i'm really scared so i'm gonna keep it a little more calm like my skin already looks bomb okay and then second primer second primer is just gonna be my green color corrector this is the one i use and i'm just gonna put this on like my blemishes and old pimples and stuff I'm so freaking grateful like let me tell y'all before today or like not before today but but like before like this week my skin oh my god it was breaking out so bad like you can see the the aftermath of it like all these freaking blemishes came from recently like when my skin was just so bad and honestly I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't know what it was I know what it is like I was over here like I don't know like no girl no it's because a I was eating out like every day or like three times a week like I was eating out it's not like I was eating out that crazy like I was in like Chipotle most of the time but still I was eating out I was eating things my skin wasn't used to 
there was that and then i stopped going to the gym i didn't know the gym affected my skin so much because as soon as i went back my skin glowing so I, there was that and then my sleep schedule was bad and then i was never home so like the air pollution was i swear that's what it was but i i came home and i got back to my regular routine and look at her she's back so a lot goes into freaking acne more than you would think i feel like any brow gel by nyx is so good or nyx whatever you however y'all say it and i love it i love all their brow gels so far but this one i've been really into it's so good do y'all's eyebrows ever hurt like my eyebrows hurt sometimes like they feel sensitive maybe it's just me i've been avoiding I don't know if you can tell, but I've been avoiding the talk. So let's just get it over with. Let's talk about school. I'm going to acknowledge that that's what I'm getting ready for because you clicked on this video to talk about schedule. Like, so let's talk about my schedule. They were withholding our schedules all summer. Like we literally thought we were going to get it on the first day of school. And it took me like literally all summer to finally be content with that. And then tell me why they dropped them yesterday. I love my my classes i don't have any changes i want to make that's great like i can save myself a lot of time because then counselors will be getting mad when you pull up to change the schedule oh my god they're so oh they'll be like what do you want what do you want like they're so mean about it and honestly i don't blame them because i know everybody's trying to change their schedule but like you got to understand like this is our everyday life for us like this is like work for you girl we come here and we live here like this is our second home we want these schedules to be perfect so it's like they can't be getting mad they should know students are gonna do it i don't know why they're surprised every freaking year but um, complain or not they do it so i don't really care they match up perfectly with like where my parking spot is or i don't think i have first period with anybody i've only told two people my schedule and or no three people in my schedule the rest i like i want people to be like i want to be surprised when people walk in so I only saw three people on my schedule and those are like my closest friends. And then like I asked like two, like four other people, but like I knew they wouldn't be in my classes because they they don't normally take the type of classes I take anyways. But like I just wanted to see if they're in my lunch. But anyways, I um I asked or no. In my first period, I have I think I have environmental science. So all my classes are like college level. Sorry, just that I like had nothing to do with anything. I just next period I have English and that class I have two of my best friends in it. So uh just know no work is getting done. Nothing is getting done. My two best friends are in there, nothing's getting done. Um so I have English, but luckily English is pretty easy for me. I've never had troubles with English. And then after that I have macro economics. Um that's gonna be like probably my second hardest class this year i hear it's super hard and i'm not excited about that like I, I, the people who were in it last year like explained to me it was so hard that the teacher literally changes changes 40s to 70s so i'm very nervous about that but. and then after that i have lunch i have lunch with one of my friends that i go to okay one of my friends that i'm in english with i have like six classes with her but that's because we, we're taking like cosmetology together and that takes up like three block periods our schedules just line up like that but anyways i have lunch with her and then probably a bunch of other people uh, i know a couple people that are in my lunch so i'm not stressed about that and then after lunch it's right to cosmetology for one period cosmetology for two periods cosmetology for three periods so for three classes i have cosmetology with my friend well i have two friends in there i have two friends in there so i'm good on that front I'm just sad that I don't have cosmetology first period anymore because last year I had it first and second period and it was the best. Like I would come to school unready and I would just get ready in there and it was the like best. But unfortunately, can't do that this year. And then, and then last period I have pre-cal with, with my friend again. So there's only two classes where I don't know if I have friends in it, which is fine by me. I always like to have like at least one class with no friends because then it's me time. I'm just waiting for my concealer to dry. Normally this is when I do my eyelashes, but... So, 
also like parking spots for seniors dropped on like a day where it was only for seniors like for like a full week it was just only seniors could get a parking spot so i was like oh bet i'm getting a good parking spot so i get my parking spot i request there's like two lots where there's okay there's three lots where you can park at my school there's athletic there's band and there's senior athletic is like on the like other side of the school i am not interested in that there's senior which is right next to the doors and then there's band which is the lot behind the senior parking lot so i chose the band lot because i thought the senior and the band lot were the same thing like my friend was like oh no they're the same don't worry about it and then like everybody refers to it as band lot so i was like okay band lot like perfect i requested it i get my parking spot and i get number 266 and i was like so excited like last year i had number 500 and i was far from school i was really far i was like in the middle of the band lot and the parking lots are pretty big so it was like it was a pretty long walk it was like a 10 minute walk and so um i was like oh like i went from 500 to 200 like i'm about to be in front of the doors like i'm so excited and i was gonna like when i got my parking spot i was gonna go check where my parking spot was but they didn't paint the numbers on yet like they were doing construction and expanding it so they didn't paint the numbers on yet so i was like okay i'll come back like another day so i went back yesterday thank goodness i didn't like i didn't wait till today i almost did but i something told me to go and um i was looking for my number and i was in the senior lot and it was like i was only seeing i was seeing 199 de-escalating and i was like um baby where's 200 like why is it getting smaller and so um i went all the way around the whole senior lot and there was no 200s and i was like okay maybe i'm in the like front of the van lot i'm driving and the numbers are getting bigger as I go backwards. So we're starting at like, what, like 200? And then we're going all the way bigger. When I tell y'all, while I was driving, I was literally about to start crying. Like I was so, oh my God, I was so upset. Yeah, it was just, the numbers were getting bigger and I already knew parking spot's about to be bad. And it wasn't even bad, it was horrible. They expanded the parking lot, A, eh? so it's even bigger now. And I got the last row all the way in the back, all the way to the left. And the doors are all the way to the right, all the way in the front. I parked with people who get a freaking um, driving pass, like, at the end of the school year. I got a driving pass at the end of the school year last year, and I had a better parking spot. So, oh, as soon as I walk through those doors, that's the first thing I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. Like, I'm grateful that I even got a parking spot, but, like, um. I'm gonna be so nice and I'm gonna be like, hi, how are you? Like I were, I practiced the conversation in my head. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, that's my little dilemma right now. I'm really stressed about it. I'm praying to God. I prayed so hard last night that they would fix it for me. Remind me to fix that. The pressure's on both hearts to like a metronome. started recording and i've only filmed one clip since i woke up and it's only been 53 minutes huh i'm gonna go look in the bathroom to see how my makeup looks risky i know but i don't know how it looks okay it looks good i just wish i did a little less powder because i look a little dry but school air will take care of that i look wet by the end of the day i think i'm gonna bring my friend over here because she's not having a good morning Anyways, we're gonna line my lips. This is the Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline and Live on the Edge number five. I love this liner. It's bomb. Look, it looks like I have lipstick on. Like, it's so cute, right? Excuse me. This is the finished look. We're about to unplug my light though because I need one of the outlets. 
probably listen to music during this process because there's not much I can talk about. fix like the front frizzies hairspray it let me fix these guys my camera died so we're gonna do a little bit of filming on the phone now i'm gonna fix my hair up a little bit i'm gonna put like some stuff right here to flatten it out and nat um let me tell y'all i was on live yesterday and this girl named nat commented um spray your your brush with hairspray and then brush it through your hair to help maintain frizz and I would, I really want to do that right now, but I don't want to brush through my hair right now, especially this side, because this side is just not, you see, it's like not curling. And I've already gone over like 30 times and I don't want to damage my hair. So it's just, my alarm just went off, sorry. But girl, I remember what you said. Don't think I forgot about you. I really would do it, but I don't want to brush through my hair. Anyways, I'm gonna put, I'm putting some Murray's Edge Wax. It's 520. That's what time I normally wake up, woke up last year. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting this on my hair. I also think I'm probably gonna do like, put some of my hair behind my ear. Like the places, the places I know it gets frizzy. I don't know, I don't really like the way my hair turned out. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. You can't see me. I feel like it's so dark. I, maybe you can see me, I don't know. But here's my outfit. I'm wearing cargos from Goodwill. They do not fit me, as you can tell. But they're from Aeropostale. And then shirt from My Melrose. And then I'm probably gonna wear forces. I don't know. Okay, bye guys. Um, next, the rest of the filming is gonna be on my phone because I don't want to take my camera. I'm too scared. Okay, guys, you can't really see me, but I'm about to leave. I'm about to pick up my bestie, Frandy. We're gonna go to Starbs. We're still school. It's like hitting me how emotional it is. Like I'm a senior. This is my, that was my last first day of school. Get ready with me. It's over, I'm done. Like that's the last time I'm ever gonna get ready for the first day of school in my room, in my home room, in my childhood home. Like that is so sad. <sighs> it's so dark, I cannot see anything. But you know what I was telling my friend? Um, I was telling her like last year, I believe it was last year we went to like a pep rally and the song that makes me so emotional when it comes to like I wasn't even a senior and I was like oh because it was like sad seeing like those people I grew up with just go going off into the real world but the song that like really makes me so sad for like seniors to hear is the song that's like where all the time go oh, big moment in my life this is like oh green light immediately they want me gone I'm gonna hit y'all whenever I pick up Madison. What does that sound? I hope it's not my car. Ooh. We're about to go to Starbucks. Made it to Starbucks and I got a pink drink. I don't know. I just wanted I just I didn't want to get food because I am gonna poop it right out. I'm gonna have tummy pains. So I just got a pink drink and hopefully the milk doesn't mess with well, my how much tummy. Was it? And she got a ice pumpkin spice that it's nasty good. that nasty <laughs> drink, bro. I had it yesterday and I almost no, threw up. No, that was the apple pie one. I don't care. It was nasty. It was disgusting. It was so gross. Thank you. Thank you. Is there tea? They are. Thank you, you too. Does it have coffee in it? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Yo, this has ice in it? That's, so, that's <laughs> yeah, why it's nasty. Let's drink it fast. Is it good? Oh, it is good. I told you. It's all right. You can't really taste the coffee. Yeah, it just tastes like caramel. I don't like it though. Oh. It looks like expired milk. <laughs> I like the whipped cream, that's about it. 
But you would think, last year I had number 500, now I have 200. You would think I'd be closer to that. My bestie's pumping my gas for me because my hair is going to get frizzy if I go out in the weather. I'm at school. I'm in my friend's parking spot. Praying I don't get towed. Man, that was good, actually. <laughs> Red? Okay, sorry the camera's a little crooked. Let me turn the AC down. I'm about to get hot. But I'm gonna talk about school. Cause school's over. Let me just go like in order of everything. So at first we had like zero period where everybody just goes and then you like get your badge and your schedule and all that stuff. And that was whatever. And then after that, I had my first period, environmental science. And I know one girl in there. Um, she sits behind me, so I have a friend in there and it was cool. There was nothing like I didn't really and then I went to second period Which I have English with all my friends. That was cool. Then I went to third period Which was my third period? Oh macro and I was so scared for that class, but the way the teacher described it I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I really don't think it's gonna be that bad So economics, I don't think it's gonna be bad and then after that I went to lunch with my friends and that's when I went to the AP's office to ask for a new parking spot let me tell y'all what happened the lady was so nice like she was like i was like oh hey um um i was just wondering if there's any way i can move my parking spot and the lady was like thinking about it she was thinking about it and she was like um uh give me a second and then like she didn't even get to do anything before the lady next to her was like no and i was like um what and she's like no no and like she didn't even give me a reason so then i was like okay well if there's not a way that i can change parking lots is there a way that i could change parking spots and maybe like move a little closer to uh the front of the building but be in the same parking lot and then the lady was like no no like she wouldn't give me an answer and the other lady was just standing here like quiet like she didn't even get to say a word which was very annoying like why are you anyways it was just making me mad but um yeah, so then I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So then I, I like left and I told my friend and my friend was like, you know you can return your parking spot and then get a new one and then you'll probably get closer to the building. So then I went back inside and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering like, is there any way that I can return my parking spot and then trade it out for a new one? And the lady was like, no. And I was like, mm. oh no, 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 she did give me a chance. She was like, she was like, what's your parking spot number? And I told her my parking spot number. And she's like, no, we're not moving that row. And she's not moving that row because nobody else is gonna wanna park there which annoys me because literally the senior lot is literally empty. There's nobody there. I'm about to honk. No, I hate honking. I get, I get anxiety about honking. But honestly, the parking spot isn't that far away. I looked at it again and I was like, okay, it's not that bad. Like it's far, but it's not, if not that bad, like it's fine. But like literally in my English class, I was telling my friend Mary, I was like, um, my parking spot is so far. And then this other girl, literally this other girl came into the conversation and that's how I know my parking spot is bad. Cause she was like, oh my gosh, do you park in the back row? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I feel so bad for people who park there. And I was like, that would be me. And she was like, man, that sucks. And I was like, I know it really does. But honestly, I'm okay. I'm just, I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful to be here. So. I'm not gonna complain about it because I did what I could do and I wasn't able to change it. So I'm just gonna get over it. But yeah, that was my first day of school. It was fun. I had fun. Like I loved it. I love all my classes. I'm so glad I didn't need a schedule change. Like I love everything about my schedule. I love it. I love that I, that I, um, I mean, I wish I had a friend. I do have a friend in economics, but I barely know him. Like I was friends with him in like math, like sophomore year. And we sat together because it was like assigned seats and we like were acquaintances. So I know somebody in there, but we're not like friends. But he's smart, so if I ever need help, I, I can ask him. And then I'm so happy I have my friend in pre-cal because just in case I need help with anything and she's smart. So I'm actually very satisfied with my schedule. Half of my my school day was in cosmetology and that was like, that's actually a blessing, honestly. It's like a break. That was my school day. I had fun. I didn't really vlog during school. I just like took a video in economics because I didn't I was by myself at first but yeah I had fun it was a successful first day of senior year and I think it's gonna be a good year I have high hopes I love all my teachers they're all really nice and yeah I think that's the end of this video let me know if you guys want any more like get ready with me type videos or like school videos or anything like that um yeah I'm gonna see you guys in my next video probably next weekend 
and comment down below what you want to see from me next i love you bye